using the Reports tab. The Reports tab contains the listing of the reports received from the vehicle. Reports are sorted to the newest at the top of the screen. You can also use the page control to move through the pages of the reports. Each report contains the following information. Time, date, location, and speed if vehicle is in motion. Icons beside the report indicate what type of report was received. This one is an example of an ignition report. This one is a find command report. On the right side of the report is an icon indicating if the vehicle is in transit or not. The one with the letter P sign means it is parked. Stop sign means it is not in transit and the green arrow icon means that vehicle is in motion by the time the report was received. The globe icon allows you to view a report in a map. It can be viewed in three different ways. This one is a map view. This one is a satellite view. And this one is a hybrid view. Clicking the rightmost icon allows you to copy the report to the clipboard. This report can be pasted in other applications such as Microsoft Word. Filtering and exporting reports. To have better management of all reports received, we have the following filter options. Exclude info reports to filter out the GPS device command responses. Show all to view all reports. Show alerts only to display reports that are listed as alerts in the control center tab. Show reports between date to display only reports according to the date range specified. To remove date filtering, uncheck the box. Map all trips in the state to show all breadcrumb trails on a map according to the date range set. Trip summary will show a window displaying a summary report of all trips from a selected period. If you'd like to save a tabulated version of the report, which you can print out, click the export button to view a report in Excel format. This is how it looks like in Excel. Accessing the SIM messages of the modem. This option uses the Microsoft Access application to view all messages received by the SIM in GPS device. Select your local drive. Go to Documents and Settings. Select All Users. Select Application Data. Select PLDT, then Fast Track, click the folder, and open M1 Fleet file.
go to Messages to see all reports received by the SIM in your modem. You can delete records here just in case SIM capacity is already full. Using the Device Settings tab, This tab allows you to change information of a vehicle. You can change the name, phone number, password, icon to represent vehicle, and group that you want this vehicle to be included in. Vehicle Icon Colors Vehicle icons are color-coordinated based on their tracking status. Green for Active Vehicle Track Red are vehicles that have high importance, mostly dependent on the Smart Track options. Gray for inactive vehicles that have, haven't sent any report in 7 days. Using the application settings, we can view the alert reports we've previously chosen to receive for a specific vehicle. Go to Settings, Application to open this window. The following are the alert reports we've chosen for this vehicle. SOS, Speeding, Alarm, Zone, Power. We also have other settings and options for the M1 Fleet application. Language used in M1 application. Maximum number of reports to be displayed in the Reports tab. Alarm sound that the application will produce if you receive any alert. Alarm interval to select time between alarm sounds in seconds. Map tool to set the map application to be used. Google Map or Google Earth. Marker type. Trip map color to select color of a trip trail. For more helpful information, you can read through the user guide included in M1 application. Go to Help, Help Contents.